Hi everyone, today is a completely different type of video than I would usually do on my channel. Usually I do review videos so that I can recommend products to you that I've been really enjoying using and that I get a lot of benefit out of. Today is completely the opposite. These are a couple of products that I feel are overhyped, overpriced and underachieving and in my opinion, you need to save your money. <laughs> So both of the items I'm gonna be talking about today are from Charlotte Tilbury. I am by no means knocking the Charlotte Tilbury brand at all. Some of my favorite ride or die products are from Charlotte Tilbury. They are superb quality. I love her eyeshadow palettes. I think they're unbelievable, really buttery and smooth. I adore her Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It's my favorite bronzer of all time. I love her eye pencils and also her all-in-one face palettes. I think are to die for. However, there are a few niggles that have started happening over the last few months that have really started to irritate me and I feel like I need to mention them. The first one is this constant flow of brand new product releases. I can't remember Charlotte Tilbury ever releasing a brand new product every month or even every couple of months. And it just seems to be very, very frequent at the moment. Number two, there seems to be a little bit of greediness going on in the Charlotte Tilbury camp. I maybe shouldn't use that word, but hey, I just did. <laughs> Um, some of the packaging has been really quite cheap and nasty and I'm talking about the Hyaluronic Happy Kisses here which you hardly got any product, the packaging was really awful, the product itself was glorious, absolutely love that formula but for the amount that you paid I just thought it was a bit of a cash cow and I didn't appreciate it one little bit. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury website very rarely has a sale on and when it does, it's only on limited items. I haven't seen a sale across the site wide where there hasn't been a limited selection of products to choose from. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't like that. Charlotte Tilbury fans deserve a site wide sale. Thirdly, the amount of pop-ups that appear on the Charlotte Tilbury website when you're trying to buy one item <laughs> blows my mind. Fourthly, let's not even go into the annoying cheesy adverts. Fifth, the yellowy undertone of all of the airbrush flawless bronzers means that I can't wear any of those without looking like I've been punched in the face. I really do look like I'm coming out in a bruise, which is a shame. And lastly, the really orangey undertones of all of the lipsticks, even the pink ones, mean that it looks really pink on the tube and as soon as I put it on, it goes really quite an orangey peachy tone on me and I know I'm not the only one here because so many people have commented in the comment section whenever I've done a lipstick video, unless it's a liquid lipstick and they tend to stay true to color. I like an orangey lipstick, but when I'm wanting a pink lipstick, I don't want it to go orange on me. And I'm not quite sure if it's my skin that's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about these products. There are always going to be those products that you don't get on with in any collection. I've got some unbelievable favorite brands and uh, yeah, I don't like everything they bring out. Okay, so let me show you the products that I just feel maybe you should give a miss. Um, this one is the Cryo Recovery Mask. Now, let me read you the claims that are on the box. So this has been tested, let me just check. This has been tested on 102 people using three times a week over four weeks. So these are the claims from that test. Um, over 80% of users agree that the skin feels instantly firmer, the skin feels instantly smoother, the skin feels instantly revived, pores appear instantly tighter and more refined, skin looks younger, skin looks glowing, and it feels cooling on the acupressure points. Okay, so there's another test that's been done and that has been done over 33 people using three times a week over four weeks. So these are these results here. Now these, I have no idea how they came up with these. Clinical trial results, skin feels lifted by 253%. 
Skin feels firmer by 238%. Skin feels smoother by 243%. I know, I mean, come on. Um, puffiness around the eyes appears reduced. I can take that. Jawline appears lifted and pores appear reduced. Now, when you start adding these sort of numbers here, that gets my back up immediately. <laughs> like, immediately, I'm like, where do they come up with these numbers? Really? So before we have a look at this in action, I want to talk about the things that I really do like about this mask, because there are a lot of positives here. The first one being that this is reusable. It's um, not one of those masks that you're just gonna throw away, one use wear, and then it's just in the bin, clogging up the atmosphere. You can put this back in the freezer. You need to freeze it for at least 30 minutes and then you can use it again. I have no idea how many uses you'll get out of this, but I mean, I would think that unless it tears or rips, this is gonna be going for pretty much ever. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of this if you are going to wear it and you do like it. The second thing that I really like about this is that it is cooling, I mean, it's applying ice to your skin. So if it wasn't cooling, you'd be like, what? <laughs> but it does feel really nice on the skin. It's not as harsh as applying ice directly to the skin, which can give, you know, brain freeze. This is a more delicate way of doing that. So it does feel very nice on the skin. Also, this is quite tightening on the skin as when you go out in the cold your skin does tend to naturally tighten up. So if you're applying something cold to the skin, it is going to naturally tighten. Also, this will get rid of puffiness. If you have a lot of puffy skin first thing in the morning, then applying some ice to it will bring that puffiness down. So it does reduce puffiness. That is a claim that I can get behind. With the reduction in puffiness and also the increase in the tightness of your skin, after applying this, it does make it a little easier to apply your makeup on the surface because it makes a really beautiful canvas for applying your products on top. So it's a little quicker for me to apply the rest of my products, but I do have to sit in this for 10 minutes to get that reaction. So let's just look at the flip side. Now, I don't know exactly what this is made out of, but it looks like it's made out of a silicone flexible plastic. It has a few pouches on the back, which look like they are full of Orbeez. <laughs> you know, those little silicon balls that you put in water and just, you know, puff up a little bit and hold more of the moisture. It just looks like that is what this mask is made out of. That five metal beads, and a bit of Velcro, and this is 49 pounds. Now I know that you're gonna get use out of this because it is reusable, but 49 pounds for me seems a little steep for what this is made out of. You know, I just feel like I ought to mention it. I do think that's expensive for what you get. Also, the cooling effects only lasted around about five minutes on me for the other five minutes that I had this on my face and it does say you need to wear this for 10 minutes. It wasn't as cooling and as nice to wear. The metal beads left indentations on my skin, which was not really what I wanted because I then had to wait for those indentations to soften before I could go anywhere because they looked a, a little strange on my skin. And the effects of the tightening and also the reducing the puffiness really only lasted about an hour on me. My jawline was lifted, my skin was firmer and smoother, but again, those effects only lasted between 30 and 60 minutes and then everything seemed to go back to the way that it was. So although it feels nice on the skin and it's great for anybody suffering with the heat, if you are having hot flushes, this may be the best thing ever for you. You may get a lot of benefits out of this, but the efficacy and the longevity of the effects, um, I feel like it's a little pointless and overpriced unless you are going down a red carpet or you are on a runway and you don't need the effects to last for longer than an hour. If this was 15 or even 20 pounds, I feel this would probably be worth it for the odd few, but 49 pounds is a little bit steep for me for this. Let's move on to the next product.
Okay, so this next product is actually advertised to used in conjunction with the Cryo Recovery Mask. You can use this as a standalone product though, the same as you can use the Cryo Recovery Mask as a standalone product as well. You don't need to buy these together, they are sold separately, but you can, if you want to, buy them together in a bundle and it saves you a little bit, not a lot but it does save you a little bit. So this is the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. And this also has a lot of claims. So let me read you the little bit of bump that's on the box. So this says it's inspired by cryogenics and it has clinically proven results. Skin looks smoother by up to 196%. Reduces the look of dark circles by up to 171%. <laughs> reduces the look of puffiness by up to 54%. Now, all of those are tested on 30 men and women over eight weeks. So they are the tests that were done and they are the results that they found. So let me talk about my experience with this product. Firstly, this actually caused me to have more puffiness first thing in the morning. I just feel like the serum was slightly too rich for me. So if I applied this in the evening, my eyes were just really puffy and huge, not sore, but they were a little swollen first thing in the morning. The good thing about this though, is that if I applied this in the morning, all of that swelling and puffiness reduced immediately. So this does work. If you do have puffiness first thing in the morning, this will reduce your puffiness. Um, yeah, it was actually quite surprising, the results of this, pretty much immediately. So that I like about it. This also feels beautiful and cooling on the skin. Let me show you the applicator on this. So it has a metal applicator there, which you can massage the under eye and also around the orbital bone when you're applying the product. It's really beautiful and cooling and it's instantly refreshing on the skin. It's also really easy to apply. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the application process of this it worked and yeah, it felt really nice. The formula itself is really lightweight. It has some nice ingredients in there, including caffeine, peptides, vitamin A, C and E, and also something called Swiss ice wine essence, which is the main ingredient that will give you that tightening, blurring, lifting and firming effect. And it, it does work but um, there are some negatives that go along with this that I found. Some people, this is going to be the best thing ever that they buy. For me, not so much. So I think it's the last ingredient that I spoke about, the Swiss ice wine essence that left a little bit of a residue, a bit like spandex residue on the surface of my skin. Now that residue became an issue because over time it got a little powdery, it felt powdery under the eye and when I applied makeup over the top of it, for a few days I wasn't sure why my under eye concealer wasn't applying very well. It was a concealer that I'd used numerous times before, it didn't look right, it started to look a little darker on my skin and very patchy and just didn't apply the way that it had normally done the week before. I finally narrowed it down to the fact that it was this product that was stopping it from applying in the way that it had done before and uh, the powdery consistency underneath my eye just was unpleasant. So if you are a regular to my channel, you will know that I am slightly biased when it comes to eye creams. I don't see the point in an eye cream, especially one that costs 45 pounds and you only get 15 mils. Whew, pricey, yes, definitely very expensive. However, if you have a specific need for an eye cream, if you like to put a retinoid around the eye area, I always recommend that you do it in the form of an eye cream because retinoids that are in eye creams tend to be done in a slightly gentler way than any other retinoids that you apply around the rest of the face or on the body. So if you want to apply a retinoid or a vitamin A product, I always recommend that you do it 
within an eye cream and this one does have vitamin A in it. Also, if you suffer with puffiness first thing in the morning, if you don't mind fragrance in an eye cream, because this one does have a fragrance in it, just word of warning, if you don't like fragrance, you are gonna wanna give this one a miss. And also, if you don't wear makeup in the morning, if you're not gonna wanna apply makeup over the top of this, maybe you either apply it in the evening or you don't wear makeup in the day, this may be the best thing that you ever buy because it works. It definitely works. It's just not suitable for me because my makeup just looks awful over the top of this and uh, yeah, that's too much of a negative for me. So that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section below. You all know I don't like being a negative Nancy. I prefer to recommend products that I absolutely love to you all. But I do think there's some merit when I come across products like this that are really expensive. I like to share my thoughts and opinions with you, the negatives as well as the positives, and hopefully that will help you save some money further on down the line. Let me know if you like these sorts of videos and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.